Things are moving to finalisation at the G20. The communique is being drafted and redrafted in many rooms simultaneously. At the same time, the leaders are meeting. They finish at three o'clock. They're going to announce measures on tax, and uh, the G20 makes up a lot of the global economy, around 83 per cent. So if they get agreement, there are ways to avoid multinationals' profit shifting on the behaviour of central banks. There are disagreements at the moment between the emerging economies and the developed economies, the US, and most importantly of all targets for growth. Now Joe Hockey flagged that those targets would include, or the measures to achieve them for each nation would include, but not be limited to industrial relations. He summed them up under the heading structural reform. I don't think there's a person in the room that doesn't believe that if we want to create more jobs, uh, we're going to have to undertake structural reform in our economies. There's no one in the room. Uh, and uh, I don't think I am giving away any confidences where, by saying that uh, the finance minister of, uh, of China <laughs> pointed out that they had undertaken some structural reform and last year in China 13 million jobs were created. And I said, I responded by saying, well, it's taken us 200 years to create 13 million jobs. <laughs> so uh, they're the sorts of, you know, it, it's sort of the dawning of, of, of the reality that where, wherever it is the case in this environment, structural reform is going to be necessary. If we want to have not just job creation, but job security, uh, then we all have a responsibility to undertake structural reform. That's the hope that there'll be some kind of agreement about concrete measures, structural reform, different things for each country. Australia will, for the first time, be required uh, under the communique that's due out Sunday, late Sunday, Australia will be required to itself, for the first time, announce a growth target and concrete measures, which uh, may include, certainly Joe Hockey hasn't ruled it out, may include measures on industrial relations.